ignore that. Ignore it. That's not a thing. Oh yeah, that shit really wraps your foot. That shit I'm hugging like a bull hugger. That shit super hugging. That shit feel like nigga, my foot shit feel like Tyrese and Baby Boy, nigga. Except imagine that big ass nigga with this big ass this nigga, biggest shit. What if this imagine he all marshmallow or pillows and shit like that? really want to get into that because this feeling and everything feels like quality it feels like it's going i feel like i'm gonna be impressed by the way it skates and shit just not by the way the shit looks it's like maybe it's growing on me a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit nah nigga these some bullshit right here this some bullshit right here nigga. i feel like if i put these on i'm gonna have annoying ass kids and back pain nigga god damn Nigga, we ain't looking. It's a little off, nigga. It's a little off by, by about <laughs> two degrees, nigga. God damn. See, I was joking, nigga. I thought it was going to be way off. That's some bullshit right here. See, this is what the fuck we not about to do, nigga. You know, speaking into existence. It's going to be like the Titanic hitting the iceberg, nigga. It's going to be real cold, except that my dick is a Titanic, nigga. Send it in a, a Facebook meme or some shit. Apparently, that's how the world works, and that's a responsible way to fucking operate and navigate your life. So what we got here is some, these some baby daddy stompers or some shit. Matter of fact, fuck that, nigga. These some stepdaddy 3000s, nigga. And my kids don't respect me, nigga. They ain't my goddamn kids, nigga. I'm a cuck. Nigga, these should have came with some blue jeans and a tucked in shirt, nigga. I'm counting that, nigga. I landed right in the crack, nigga. My dad bag is hurt, nigga. Tiago 808. Shit was like $110, nigga. That shit was some bullshit, nigga. I spent all that money, nigga, to be a stepdaddy, nigga, to raise some kids that ain't mine. All right, so they're pretty wide on the feet. You ain't got to worry about none of that, you know what I'm saying? I got a 10 and a half. That's about where I am, 10 and a half to 11, depending on the brand. And yeah, I'd say these are definitely it right here. Ten and a half. Snug all around fit. Not too much room up top. But yeah, you can feel like all that shit just hugging my fit. It's real snug. It's a snug fit. That's, it's just pretty cool. The tongue is nicely padded. But we got the New Balance. A little logo on there and the Tiago Lemos with the 808 on the tongue. And it does have some tongue straps. That's a good thing. All right, so the shoe is predominantly leather. It has suede overlays, as you can see right here. Look kind of just creep up a little bit more on the the actual shoe the top of the shoe on the the pinky toe side this to be your pinky toe shit yeah, your pinky toe side nigga yeah 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 that's your pinky toe and then your big toe on this shit okay you, you see what the fuck i'm talking about now the rubber part of the household we got to like it's like a more on the harder side of the of rubber i like the soft shit i don't know if that wears away quicker it'd be feeling like it but I kind of like the, the soft shit. It don't matter in the end. As long as it's grippy and grippy and grippy. The grip, grip, grip. Fuck, nigga. I think it's uh, subduing that little pain. That little pain of kind of way up here in the upper end. Where it's going to be less material and everything. It's not as... Whew. Not in the back. The back end probably, probably wouldn't have been good right there, nigga. My back wouldn't have been... I probably wouldn't have blown out my T7, the L7, L5, whatever the fuck the name for the back. The whole backbone is connected to the leg bone, nigga. That's bullshit. Ass absorb, whatever. Now, we are 10 in. Not too much damage. Okay, oh, if that shit start to peel, my nigga, like, it's too early to call it. You know what I'm saying? Anything could happen. Now, if we look at the collar of the shoe, the neck and all that, I like to call it the neck. The little neck and neck, nigga. Give me some neck, nigga. That shit is super padded. And you can see it's a little tight squeeze right there. It's not too blown out. So, basically, your feet, your feet, nigga, your head, the back of your head, your chin, whatever the fuck that shit is, that long shit, nigga, that you don't want cut, nigga. But now I can just hug right up in there gonna be a tight fit universally. It's kinda gonna move and conform with your foot a little bit.
make a will for my stepkids, nigga. It's over, nigga. It's over, nigga. Bottom grip pattern. We got some shit going on. I don't know what the fuck going on there, but that shit look grippy as hell. And it feels strong as shit. That shit feels compact. Feel hard as hell, nigga. Damn. This might have some good impacts. Nigga, I felt every bit of that shit. Oh, that hurt. Damn, that shit hurt, nigga. Thick, and they also have the the gilly lacing system right there so basically it tucks away and all this part of the shoe is getting damaged instead of lace instead of the laces getting all the goddamn abrasions and the damage and shit it's gonna be hidden away back here protected it's actually some goddamn rubber right it's actually some protection because other shoes are just use the same material of the shoe and the shit just blows out it just drips all it just spills it a lot of times right? but now they went ahead and topped it off with some Soft a little leather, mm. re-fortified. Looks like this little ortho light, little baby back bullshit. But in this case, and I'll have to actually see, but the tech is baked into the shoe and shit like this. So you're gonna get the most of your uh, protection from this absorbed motherfucking hey, outsole. But of course, there's got to be a trade-off somewhere. So you either you put it all into the insole, or you put it into the outsole, or maybe you do both. But again, you don't want it too thick. You want to decide if you want a lot of board fill or what's going on and shit so the absorb is going to be their tech i've never skated it so i can't speak for it but i'm pretty sure there's going to have there's going to be no problems with the, the impact protection dirty okay take it off take it off oh see look at that ripping right behind the gilly thing good thing you got that rubber to protect it nigga but nigga the lace maybe i ain't lace them right here Still oh, oh, oh god damn we gonna see about that it's supposed to run through here instead of yeah okay that's me that's on me i'll take that l i'll take that i think i don't know i don't give a fuck me or the shoe was good the shoe looked uh, uh fantastic yeah still not too much of damage but you do definitely see like a bigger dip on the toe cap portion right there Ooh. Oh, this is fit, nigga. That laces. I, I might have laced the motherfucker wrong right there. Why am I focusing on the goddamn lace for that? Nigga? That toe cap was getting eaten up. It still kind of is, but it looks like it kind of slowed down a little bit. The suede isn't really damaged. It's not looking too bad, but the most wear is definitely coming in on the the rubber part of the outsole for me. That's a pretty good amount. That's a, that's a good chunk out of that bitch.
Big L. Big L and this motherfucker. I try to vouch for him. It look like it's getting eat up too, like the rubber just. Uh -uh. 70. Yeah, it looks like it's holding on. It did a lot of chunking on the tip of that motherfucker right there, but then now, now it just looks like it's cool. Like, why am I still fascinated with the little thing? I think because I, I built it up. Like, I was building it up. Like, little lace protector. I'm still looking at that shit. But yeah, that suede, definitely the strongest point. The suede and the leather. The leather's not necessarily taking too much damage, so I don't really count it in the conversation like that. But yeah, the, the rubber also part is the only part that's really doing any type of notable damage. Uh, why? I'm going home. I am going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. Yeah, I got the thing. Not looking too bad the most damage and it happened pretty early on and it continued it's kind of slowed down but it did continue with the tip of the toe cap right there it's starting to chunk out real good i thought it was going to be a problem but it more or less stayed the same but it, they, i mean it's still a good amount of damage right there it's noticeable nothing too crazy would be the ultimate judge on that so it's really that rubber toe cap portion and just on the tip from the way I was doing my shit, because the whole back end right here, that normally, like when I do tips, I don't know what the fuck going on. It's just that one area. Dude. It's just crazy. Yeah, so that's not too bad, actually. I mean, I did expect nothing less. These motherfuckers built like a goddamn tank in this bitch, goddamn it. Niggas really be dressing like this, huh? This is just. Maybe. Waking up in the morning and thinking like, this is it. This is it right here. This is 